hello everybody welcome back 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 to my channel my name is destiny and today 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 we have an interesting video so a few well probably about a month or so now i tried um i tried the product junkie naturals honey and hibiscus uh flexi gel buttercream and i found that my hair was a little on the dry side after um, like two days so I think that it was because of the leave-in that I was using just because of the results that I was getting with that product when I used it with other products so today we're gonna have we're gonna be trying it with four different leave-in and I'm gonna see if I'm able to get better results uh, that are more long that are longer lasting because for me I don't know about y'all but for me when my hair is dry and I have good definition it does not last long. So my first leave-in is going to be the Natural Grow Hibiscus and Honey Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner. I used this before to reset my hair, I guess. And I used this to re-moisturize my hair. I used this in a butter. And it was pretty moisturizing. So I'm hoping that I get repeated results today. The next one that I have is the Fairy Godmother Leave-In from Main Crush. And I recall this one being pretty moisturizing, especially after I let it sit under my plastic cap. So we're going to see what this one's talking about. And these the next two I have not tried before. I have the Miel, Miel Pomegranate Honey Leave-In Conditioner. I have not tried this one before, but I have heard good things about it. I will say, though, it's all ready to right here. And I haven't even used it. So I feel like y'all should have filled that up to about right there. I don't know why y'all being stingy, but I'm crying, girl. And lastly, I have the main choice softest can be three in one conditioner. It's supposed to be a co-wash, leave-in, a detangler, honey, all that. So um, I heard good things about this one. I heard Candy Kings loves this, and I heard that uh, N.J. Everhart uh, talk, raised about this one. So. And I think this is an old formula because it doesn't say alpha on here, it just says soft as can be. So I'm hoping, I got this from Sally's. So um, I'm hoping that this is as moisturizing as they say. Y'all know I'm finna give you the real tea, honey. I'm finna give you the tea, the milk, and the honey. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide, divide, section off my hair and you know what I didn't rinse all this conditioner out that's annoying but I'm not going back so it is what it is um, I'm gonna go ahead and section off my hair and then I will come back on okay so in this back section that's on my right your left I'm gonna go ahead and apply the hibiscus and honey one so you was ready I'm gonna use about that much section I'm gonna go ahead and put the main crush fairy god leave in and I'm going to wet it up a little bit okay, so in this back section I'm gonna go ahead and use this uh, the main choice soft as can be three in one left my left your right section I'm gonna put this one I'm gonna let them sit for 10 minutes or so 10 or 15 minutes and then I'm gonna come back okay you guys so um, all of those leave-ins absorbed really really well into my hair I really don't see much product sitting on top of my hair, so we love to see that. That is awesome, amazing, beautiful. I'm gonna do some flat twists. So I'm gonna do four in each section, which will am amount to 16 twists in total. Um, and here, just gonna add the styler on. Ooh, this is this done got hard. Not hard, but it's like creamy. So I'm gonna start off with this amount. Ooh. Girl, we 
them to definitely add some more for me. Alright, so I just got done taking out my hair and fluffing it out. I think it came out pretty good. Like, I think it came out pretty good. So, just to recap, we have this quadrant was the pomegranate honey leave-in. This one front front quadrant was the fairy god uh, mother leave-in. This back section on my right, your left, is the natural grow hibiscus and honey leave-in. And then this back left section has the main choice soft as can be. So, and then all of them have this as a styler. So, what I can say, first of all, all of these leave-ins are bomb, super moisturizing, and I'm so glad that I did this because, you know, if I would have just went off of my first experience using that TGIN Green Tea Super Moist Leave-In, that's the one I used in the initial video, I would think that this is trash, <laughs> that this is drying, that this makes my hair hard, that it makes it rough and tough. But it's not. This is actually a good product. I really like this. I feel like I feel like this is also very um, moisturizing as well. So my hair has no. For, oh yeah, I forgot. It's Friday, y'all. When I first put them twists in, it was Sunday. So it's been a good while. All throughout the while, all throughout the week, while my hair was in twists, it was pretty hydrated. Um, my hair has been hydrated, and it still is. Like I feel like I don't need to um re-moisturize at all this week because yeah my hair is it still feels pretty good i will say um like around the perimeter where my hair is the coarsest well my perimeter around the perimeter and then my roots is like the coarsest parts of my hair it does feel a little bit drier a little bit like right in here right in here is some edge control if you could see it um, that's what that is if you see something but yeah like I would say this is a front I would say that this it's hard to tell which is the most moisturizing because like I said all quadrants are pretty soft like my hair is pretty soft it's still retaining its moisture I would probably say maybe the main crush leave-in is like this side is the most moisturized this little section right here that's applied when you warm it up in your hands and then put it on your hair but I do feel like it does kind of act like a sealant too because I didn't put well actually I think I did put I did the LOC method I think I used the leave-in then I used um, this oil the leave-in this oil and then this as the cream and like I said we're day five since I am put anything on my hair and it's still hydrated like I'm really liking this I would use any of these as a combo with this so it's nice to know that um, this works well with other leave-ins and it's nice to know that I have some good leave-ins in my stash because these work really good I like it yeah every yeah I mean the back of my hair is also coarser than the front as well but for the most part it feels pretty hydrated so all of these are pretty much pretty good leave-ins so far in my experience that wraps it up for this video if you guys have a blessed awesome amazing week 
filled with peace and prosperity and kumbayanas and happiness and you know life is depressing but you know try to see try to be you know i consider myself an optimistic pessimist i hope the best comes from the worst <laughs> so i hope that you guys adapt whatever perspective works best for you that you know brings you peace y'all have a blessed awesome week and i'll see y'all in the next video bye